Hey everyone, this is Numerous, and I'll tell you how to play it in less than a couple of minutes. The goal of the player is to score the most points by brewing potions from the right ingredients. What does it mean to brew a potion? It means to make the total of ingredients on the small cards match the number that is indicated on the potion card. Each potion card indicates the required number of cards you need to make a potion. For example, a potion with the number 8 cannot be brewed from cards 5 and 3, but it can be brewed from cards 4, 3 and 1. Three potion cards are always open and 16 ingredient cards are facing down. The first player opens a card and then another one, checking whether it is possible to brew a potion. 3 4 So I say 7 and place the potion card into my victory pile. Replenish potion and ingredient cards. And the next move goes to the next player. Nine. During a turn, the player can brew no more than one potion and open no more than three small cards. Less is an option. If the player is going to brew a potion, then all open small cards must be used. The player can't choose only two out of three cards. It's either all or nothing. Everyone decides for themselves whether to open the third card or not. The fast game is for consolidating the knowledge. In this version, all players must act simultaneously. We still keep three potion cards open, but ingredient cards stay in the deck with pictures facing down. The leader slowly lays out the small cards on the table, one by one, while other players are carefully watching the game. As soon as someone sees that a potion can be brewed, they shout the number from the potion card. In this case, 9. The player shows everyone the cards from which a potion can be brewed and transfers said potion into their victory pile. Add a new potion card. Ingredient cards stay open. We keep the game rolling by adding new ingredient cards on the table. To complicate the game, the players need to take color into consideration. The game would follow the same rules, but now the color plays its part. Now with these new rules, you can brew a potion using a determined number of ingredients of a certain color. The green potion is made out of yellow and blue ingredients, purple from blue and red ingredients, and for orange you'll need red and yellow. Simplifying the game. Disregard the number of ingredients you need to make a potion. Players who are just learning to count can brew their potions out of any number of cards. The only note is that they must use at least two cards. The game ends when there are no cards left on the table, or when it is not possible to brew a potion from opened ingredients. The players calculate the sum total of numbers in all the cards they have scored. The one who has the biggest number wins. 